Hi guys, it's Gimbo here, and today, one we bringing you guys is the first ever Fallout 4 uh, video. And the video which I'm going to be bringing you guys is kind of like a tutorial, I guess you could say, on how to get to the pre-war uh, sanctuary uh, in Fallout 4. So, I must say that, you know, before I, I get into how you do it, we are going to be using a console, so this is only on PC. I'm sorry, if you were looking to find this on Xbox or PS4, it won't work, unfortunately, because we're going to be using a developer console. Now, by default, the console is enabled. Um, however, if you are like me and you are from England, then chances are the tilde key, which is usually the button that works with the console, uh, will not bring it up. Instead, you want to press the... Uh, at button, you know the at uh, that you're using emails. If you press that, it brings up the console. Um, so, of course, you'll probably know what the pre-war sanctuary is if you're watching this video. Uh, but basically, what it is, this road which I'm on here uh, is where you start off in the game. Of course, Fallout 4 starts off pre-war, and you come out your house and you know you have a look around and you go to Vault 111 to evade the bombs. Uh, now, there's not a lot of exploring to do because, you know, it ends if you go too far and so forth. But when you do this, this gives you a, uh, a chance to explore it and so forth. So what you want to do, bring up the console, type in COC, center on cell, classic. And what you want to do here is uh, type exactly as I do. So you want to put pre-war sanctuary ext01. And you got to make sure that... Uh, each word begins with a capital, and um, there's no spaces apart from COC. Now, once you've done this, all you want to do is just press enter. It will lag for a bit, and then it will start loading. Um, but here we are. It has loaded, and as you can see, this is the pre-war sanctuary. Uh, now, the weather is a little kind of sort of foggy, almost. Uh, that's I think weather does... I'm guessing weather must change or this is some kind of bug, I don't know, but majority of the time it looks quite sunny. Uh, but here it is, just as the beginning of the game is, as you can see, you can go back into your house, it's Codsworth, just like balling. Uh, you can't interact with much stuff, I mean, like you can do the general kind of uh, stuff, we've got a dog bar, we've got Sean's little crib here. Everything is as it is. So, that is that, uh, you know, you can have a little wander around. Here's a little vault tech geezer. Who knocks on your door? And uh, if you want to actually fly around the map, what you can do is type in TCL, which turns off collision. And then from here, what you can do is actually, you know, fly around, just look up in the air and move forward, and you start flying. So then from here, you can obviously get a good view of what the map looks like pre-war. Now, unfortunately, it's not the whole of the map. That would be, that would be, you know, insane if the whole of the regular map was pre-war. But no, it's not. Uh, but here, you get a, a nice view. You can see Walt, uh, Vault 111's over there. The uh, the Verta, the Verta Bird, I think it's called. I can never, I never, never know how you say it. But it's a little um, uh, like helicopter plane crossover thingy. And uh, that is it. So there's a bit of exploring to do. There's a couple of NPCs couple of geezers around the map, you can fly under the map, you know, and so forth. It's generally up to you, I'm not going to show you where to go, because there isn't, you know, anything too crazy. Apart from you can get into Vault 111, go down there, but it does lag a bit, so. Um, but that is that. So, that is the end of the video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to like subscribe button below, and a like button below. Also, guys, if you could drop a comment about whether you want to see more Fallout 4 uh, related videos, that would be great. And I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skimboot, signing out.